by default, you're going to get an on Microsoft.com domain when you first create your Entra ID account. But you can add in a custom domain, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, you can't add your custom domain into the Entra Admin Center. You need to add it in to admin.microsoft.com. So I'll just go to admin.microsoft.com. It'll use my same credentials. And then I'm going to click Show All. And then I'm going to expand settings and click on domains. I already have a couple of domains. One is the .onmicrosoft.com, which you see is the default. And I had already added in another domain at another time. So now I want to add in a new domain. And I'm going to change my login to use that new domain. So I click on Add Domain, and you get this new wizard that comes up. I have a domain that I haven't used before. And I thought it'd be fun to get zoombombers.com for people who like to bomb Zoom accounts. So I'll click on use this domain. I have previously registered this with GoDaddy. So whether you use GoDaddy or some other site, you can still use that to be added here into your admin center. So now what I'm going to do is choose to sign into GoDaddy or choose a different domain host. So even if you haven't choose GoDaddy, that's okay. Click the link and then choose the drop down and look at all these different companies you can choose that you may have registered your domain with. Now there was a time when Network Solutions was the only place that had offered the ability to purchase a domain. But since that time, it has been opened up to many other companies, as you can see, all around the world. I'm choosing GoDaddy because that's the one I registered this domain with, but you'll just choose whichever one from that drop-down list that, that uh, you used. Now I'm going to click on Verify, and it's going to prompt me to log in to my GoDaddy account. So I'll log in here by clicking Sign On after putting in my username and password, and then it will go ahead and add the records needed in order to add this domain into my Entra space. Now it's asking me to connect just to make sure I want to authorize. And now it wants to verify that information. And sometimes it takes a few seconds. You might even see the pop-up happen once again to click connect. And once that's done, it will know that you own your domain. I'm going to let Microsoft add the DNS records, but if you don't want that to happen, you can click on more options and you can choose to add your own records or skip and do this later. I'm going to say, sure, go ahead, Microsoft, use those records. It's a much faster way to do this because it will instantly verify and add the records and let you continue. If you choose to do the records yourself, and here are the records it's going to add, then it may take 30 minutes to an hour before you can actually start using this domain. And domain setup is complete. I can click done. And now you can see my new domain and that it's healthy. Once again, if you do the records yourself or you make an error, then it's going to add it anyway, but it's going to say setup is not complete and you won't be able to receive any email or send from that domain until it says healthy. So now I'm going to go to a user. I'll click on Active Users, and I'll find one that's licensed because you won't be able to make changes to any of the unlicensed users. And that's going to be what the new login is going to be. So I'm going to click on Video User, and then click on Manage Username. And instead of the onmicrosoft.com domain, I'm going to change this to be the new zoombombers.com. So what that means is the next time video user goes to log in, the login name is going to be at zoombombers.com rather than the .onmicrosoft.com domain. Usually it takes about 30 minutes for that to happen, and it's possible you might have to re-add your credentials to your work or school account if your computer is registered with the Enter ID in Worker School in your Microsoft computer. And that is how you add in a new custom ID and change the default logon. After adding in a new custom domain that you may have purchased online, say from Network Solutions or GoDaddy, you can add in what's called alias addresses. An alias address allows you to receive email from other users that would like to send to you under a different name. So for instance, I'll just click on my admin account. And under the account section, you can see aliases. I'll click on manage username and email. And now I'm going to add in a new 
username. So let's say right now I'm receiving email at the LinkedIn videos on Microsoft.com. I want to add in the ability to receive email to my admin at another domain that I've added already. So I can choose techpublishing.info, click add, and now I've added an alias. So I can receive email on both of these addresses. Let's add another one. I'll say admin, and then I'll choose the other domain that you see here. And now that alias can now receive email. I don't have to just choose the word admin, even though my username is admin. I could choose uh, whoever at whatever domain that I have in this list. And now I'm going to be able to receive email there as well. Now, that doesn't mean that I can send email from that address. You can only send email from a single address, and that's going to be your primary address. So take a look under username and email. This is my primary address. However, if I click manage usernames and email, I can change my primary address to be one of these other options. So let's say I want an admin at techpublishing.info. I'll go and click the edit button and say that I want this to be at techpublishing.info and click done. So I still have all the same email addresses and I still have all the same aliases, but now my default login has changed. So when I go to log in, it's going to be admin at techpublishing.info. When I go to send an email, it's going to come from admin at techpublishing.info. However, I can receive email from all these different addresses. Now you can purchase a domain and add in the domain for changing your primary login and add email aliases for your company email.